Weeks, and number 99, John Tyler. Captains for the National Scrappers, number 11, Blake Young, and number 54, Timmy Field. The National Scrappers won the coin toss. They elected to receive the opening kickoff. The Scrappers will be to the south end. They'll be moving south to north on their first offensive possession. Of course, that'll be left to right on the radio dial. As we get set for tonight's ball game, the schools participating in this football playoff game are members of the Arkansas Activities Association as authorized by their school boards. The administrators of these schools have helped to write the rules and regulations that govern participation of students in competitive activities for schools that are members of the Arkansas Activities Association. Well, Charles, coming off of a good win last week, it's always good to get that first opening uh, playoff win under your belt, and it's certainly good for this ball club, and then settle in, and you look to start doing better and better each and every week because the ball clubs are going to be better and better. Well, you certainly do, Rick, and let me add a little something. I got the prescription tonight for the win for the scrappers from our pharmacist buddy back here behind us, Sam R. Floyd. Okay, so and he signed off here's for the win tonight. Here's the prescription. Nashville needs to take two touchdowns per quarter to their none. Okay. <laughs> and you go home feeling good. How's that? If we have some and they have none, then we win. That's exactly right. He's All a pretty right. smart pharmacist, by the way. Okay. Well, the Scrappers are getting set to move on out here in just a minute in uh, formation for Lake Village as they're getting set to kick from the uh, north end. And right now for tonight's play-by-play, -play, let's go to Charles Hubbard. All right, as Rick uh, pointed out, Scrappers moving uh, south to north. And we'll have Sharon Hawthorne as our deep return along with Chris Benson and Michael McFadden. And the ball is on the tee and Lake Village just about ready to kick it away. Here's the approach and there's the kick. It will be taken by Chris Benson. Makes a cut up the field, still on his feet, still on his feet across the 35 to about the 38 yard line. So the Scrappers will take over. Pretty good field position, just shy of the 40. We'll call it the 38. Going to be time for the ball clubs to kind of settle in and take care of business here, Charles. And uh, coming into the ball game, I talked to Lake Village head coach Bobby Cole. He was talking about keeping the ball club relaxed. They were going to enjoy traveling over here and enjoy coming over and seeing the national schools and national program. All right, Scrappers with the ball on the left hash mark from the Scrapper 38-yard line. The Scrappers have a slot to their right side, lone setback for the Scrappers. That's Witherspoon, a little bit of a rush. Long pass downfield, just overthrown. Intended for Willie Scott, and the ball was in the air long before Willie Scott ever made his turn. And not great defense, but just enough to hold up Willie uh, Scott as he tried to make his cut. Uh, cut. And number five, Daryl Gant. One thing looking at it, there. if uh, Lake Village is going to try to put pressure on the uh, quarterback at all, Blake Young, what they're going to try to do is get that pass away. And as Young just did then, it was thrown before Scott even made his cut to the outside. We go back to the two back set. Now they're in an eye formation slot to the right side, which is the wide side of the field. Second and 10 from the Scrapper 38-yard line. Young up under center. Wants to hand off. That's going to be to McFadden. Gets across the line of scrimmage, across the 40, still fighting for yardage, close to the 45. He'll pick up about five yards on the play as they mark it at the 43, maybe even 44. We'll wait till the officials make the spot. I'm going to give him five yards on the play, Rick. So it'll bring up third down and five now for the Scrappers. I think the Scrappers feel like they can run on this team. Roland checks back in, McFadden will check back out. Ball still on that left hash mark. Scott to the left side, which is the near side of the field. Lone setback now is Witherspoon. Hawthorne to the right side. Wants to throw. Throws it out. Hawthorne, first down, 50, at the loose, 45. Makes a cut, 40. He'll be slung down at about the 40, or excuse me, 36-yard line. That time the defender slipped down just as uh, Hawthorne was going out and he was kind of button hooked and coming back around looking for the pass. The defender did slip down and uh, Hawthorne did a good job after he caught it, pick up some yardage. Well, I'll tell you what, if they give him that much room all night, it's going to be a long night for those defensive backs because he had a pretty good cushion right there. First down for the Scrappers. They actually place it at the 37. Ball now is on the right hash mark. And Jason Kennedy, your Scrapper center, has him up to the line of scrimmage. Lone setback this time is McFadden. And this time Witherspoon is a wing on the left side. Two tight ends. Handoff. That'll be McFadden. He'll make a cut. 
He's going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Maybe he got a yard. It was a very tough yard if he got that much. Defense doing a good job, kind of reacting there. Charleston came back, and as you mentioned, I think they may have gotten away and given a, a yard to McFadden there. And Johnny Moore in on that play. That's a name you're probably here a lot tonight because he's the main man on the offense for the Lake Village Beavers. He runs at tailback, also used at linebacker. They'll rest him more on the offense, and uh, Mario Rogers will go in at tailback from time to time when Lake Village is on offense. Second and nine, Witherspoon the lone setback, slot to the left side. And Young wants to throw again, and he underthrew Willie Scott that time. Just a little underthrown, and Willie Scott was open enough then, Rick. Uh, threw it way again before he made the cut, but it was way underthrown, and uh, Blake may have thought he was going to make that cut a little bit sooner than what he did. Third and about an eight or nine situation coming up for the uh, Scrappers. They came up with a big first down just a moment ago on a third down play, so these third downs are getting pretty important pretty early in the ball game. All right. Willie Scott and Hawthorne to the left side, the wide side of the field with the ball in the right hash mark. It's Witherspoon and McFadden. The setbacks for the Scrappers. Young again wants to throw. A little bit of pressure. Throws it down to the Hawthorne, complete at the 25. And we'll see if they give him forward progress to the 25. Threw him back a little bit. Again, Hawthorne, the main man so far on the receiving end of it. That ball right on the money. I think we're going to mark it, mark it at about the 26 or about 10 yards on that pickup, and you can see what the passing game will do, Charles, whenever you have those third downs. Willie Scott will check out, and it looks like uh, Roland will check back in at tight end. Scrappers will be going with two tight ends now, Westfall and Roland. Ball now is on the left hash mark from the 26-yard line of the Lake Village Beavers. Split backs, wing on the right is going to be Hawthorne. Young. Quick look, throws it, fly pattern, intended for McFadden, just overthrew him. Boy, he had he had Hawthorne in the end zone, Rick, right on the goal line, but there was so much pressure on Blake Young, he didn't have time to even look. He just had to get rid of it. Somebody got through there that time for Lake Village, and I believe that's gonna be number 63, Trey Montgomery. All right, Trey Montgomery putting a little pressure on him. It'll be second down and 10, Scrappers. And McFadden will check back out, and Scott will check back in. So the Scrappers will be going now with uh, two tights, it looks like, and a couple of wide receivers. And the lone setback is going to be Witherspoon. From the left hash, wants to throw. Passes it complete to Willie Scott. He's at the 15, inside the 15, to the 13-yard line. And again, Gant on the stop for the Lake Village Beavers. 13 yards on the pickup, and again, Scott just reaching out there and catching the ball in his hands and doing a good job afterwards, kind of eluding the defender and coming around them. Lake Village not seeing a lot of running attack right here, and uh, I'm, you know, most conferences and most high schools are geared to stop the run first and not to, to stop the pass first. So this could confuse them if the Scrappers can be, uh, uh, if they can continue what they're doing. Slot left, Young again wants to throw. A little bit of time, throws it across the middle. Oh, just a little bit underneath. Just a little bit short of Willie Scott. Had him right on the goal line. It was there, Rick. He just couldn't quite get to it. If it had been about a foot higher, I believe that would have been six points, don't you? I believe so. As you mentioned, they've run that pass route. It was good to see uh, Scott cutting across the middle there. How many times have you seen that come up with touchdowns this year? Oh, boy. Second down and 10 from the 13-yard line of the Lake Village Beavers. Scrappers in the second round of the state playoffs in Triple A's. Lone setback again is Witherspoon. Young drops, wants to throw, screens it out. That's going to be to the tight end. That's West on 10. job after you got that screen pass to him Charles with just determination he wanted to get in there and score Andrew coming on the last few weeks here and doing a super job and that's what getting the playing time throughout the year has done for him you bet and I'll tell you the scrappers use so many different receivers uh, you just can't cover them all Rick. all right Jack Martin to hold Nate Steele to snap the ball and Stoney Ray to try the extra point there's a snap the placement's down the kicks up looks good it is scrappers now lead seven to nothing over the Lake Village Beavers. 8.44 left in the first period. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. Three minutes 
uh, seconds to go 10 plays, 62 yards. And the scoring play, a 13-yard screen pass from Blake Young to the scrapper tight end, Andrew Westfall. Well, on the screen play, when you're kind of letting the defense uh, come through a little bit, uh, Charles, they really put a charge on that time. The defense, as they started coming through, and you're kind of softly letting them through there, but they really put a charge. Good to see the pass play get away. Good job by Blake Young. And again, a good job by Westfall to really turn it upfield, show determination, and get in there for the score. That's one of the best screen passes I believe we've had this year. And Stoney Ray is going to adjust the ball. <laughs> and the scrappers thought he was kicking it off. And boy, they were taking off a few of them. They weren't quite ready. He was running up to adjust it. Now here's the approach, and he'll get it away. And it will be taken at the 15-yard line. Back to the 20, to the 25, and outside the 25 to about the 27, 28-yard line. And that return made by number nine, Ronnie Jackson. And we'll call it the 29-yard line. So that's where the Beavers will take over. With eight minutes and 38 seconds left here in the first period, Scrappers on top, seven to nothing. Ball is on the right hash mark for Lake Village. They'll send their split in to the left. Wide receiver right, lone setback for Lake Village. And Scrappers are going to jump, and I believe we're going to have an offsides against the Scrappers. Let's see if that's what it is, and I'm almost positive that's what it is. So it'll be first and five Scrappers. Scrapper defense need to talk it up out there a little bit. This is where you got to start kind of gelling for the playoffs. You know, you. You kind of lope along there for a while, and it's time to really get in gear now and really starting to, to let your presence be known. It's first and five now from the 34. That's the Lake Village 34. In motion is Jackson to his right. Handoff, that'll be Moore. He'll break it for a first down as he gets all the way to the 39-yard line. Quick hitter over that uh, right side for Lake Village, and that's Moore. And Moore is capable of gaining, uh, you know, 100 yards or more. He gained quite a bit last week. I don't remember what it was, Rick. It was an awfully lot, though, wasn't it? He scored about four touchdowns, I think, last week. He's got the quickness, and he likes to get to the outside, but he's also a kind of back. He doesn't mind going ahead and lowering the head and shoulder and going ahead and running over you. All right, here we go. First and 10 from about the 40 now for Lake Village. That's their own 40. Again, Jackson in motion. It'll be the toss sweep to the other side. Scrapper's trying to string it out. He'll try to turn the corner, and he'll get a quick five again to the 45. Scrappers didn't do too bad that time turning it in. The pursuit just did not get there quite quick enough, Rick, to stop him at the line of scrimmage. Found a little crease, and he got through there. So he picks up a quick five and actually picks up six as they mark him a little outside the 45. So it'll be second down in four now for Lake Village. Ball resting on the left hash mark. And I imagine we're going to see an awful lot of this left and right stuff uh, until the scrappers try to stop it, and then they'll probably go to a little bit different set. We got a wing on the left with a slot on the left side also, which is the near side of the field, and the wing will go in motion to his right. Cut up field a little bit quick. They didn't call it, and he's going to be stopped short of the first down. And I believe the ball is on the ground, and I don't know. The scrappers got it, I think. Yes, they did. Moore cops it up at midfield. The Scrappers will take over at the Scrapper 49-yard line. Swung more down on the ground as the uh, tackle was being made, and the ball came out, and uh, they say a turnover as the Scrappers recovered it. Well, I couldn't tell who got the uh, recovery. I believe it was Brandon Rowland, number 44, I think. Just shy of the 50-yard line, so Nashville will take over on their own 49 now. All right. Let's see if the Scrappers can capitalize on mistakes by the opposition. First and 10 Scrappers just shy of midfield. Split back, slot right. Young, again, wants to throw. Plenty of times. Receiver's going to fall down. I think he was going to try to hit, uh, I think, Hawthorne, and Hawthorne slipped as he made his cut, and the ball went incomplete. And now he had Willie Scott on the fly pattern down that side, but it, I don't believe that's who he was trying to hit then on the pass. It looked like it was for Hawthorne. Probably going to see the field be torn up a little bit more as the ball game goes on here tonight. Uh, pretty good rainfall overnight last night. The field is in good condition considering that. Charles also on the turnover for Lake Village. That is one thing they've had cost them this year, uh, turnovers and mistakes. Slot right, split backs again, second and 10 from the 49. Young again wants to throw, got time. Oh, almost.
almost picked off. Good job by Jackson then to knock it down. I'll tell you, that ball was going to be complete, Rick. It was going to be complete to Willie Scott for a first down, and a great job that time by Jackson. Good job, as you mentioned. Uh, Scott had just turned around, and he looked wide open. The defender had cushioned him a little bit, and a uh, good way to get the hand up in there and block it down. All right, McFadden checks back out, back out and it looks like uh, Roland has checked in. And we'll have Scott and Hawthorne to the left side. Lone set back again as Witherspoon. Ball right in the middle of the field. And we have a timeout by an official for just a moment. We may have an equipment problem. No, I guess not. Now we're ready. Scrappers leading seven to nothing. Big third down and 10 right here for the Scrappers from midfield. Scrappers all jump. <clears throat> so what are we gonna have here? I think illegal procedure. Lineman stepping back into pass block, uh, Charles, and, and uh, just everything didn't work then on <laughs> that one. <laughs> Somebody didn't know this. Get snap count. So it's instead of third and 10, it's third and 15. Well, that just gives those receivers a little bit more room to work, don't it? Yeah. So here we go. Again, from the middle of the field, this time they'll send Scott and Hawthorne to the right side. Witherspoon again, the lone setback. Two tight ends in there for the Scrappers. Fairly decent little rush, got plenty of time, and again, the receiver falls down. It looked like he might have been bumped. The official's not doing anything about it. And Willie Scott uh, complained a little bit, and anyway, it's gonna go incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down and 15. So the Beavers uh, dodge a bullet, Rick, after coughing it up at midfield. And it looks like the scrapper receivers are having a little bit of trouble making those really sharp cuts uh, on those out patterns. Blake Young in deep punt formation, standing on about his own 31, 32 yard line. There's a good snap. He'll hit it at about the 35, high wobbly kick. Coming down, uh, and it's gonna be down at about the 30 or 25 yard line by Mo, uh, Mullins. 31 yards on the uh, punt for the uh, Scrappers. Down there, so no return. And let's see, Lake Village will be taking over on their own about the 25 yard line. Okay. Well, Scrappers three and out on that one. And let's see what Lake Village could do this time. Ball probably, just inside the left hash mark. We were seeing uh, probably the footing coming into play on that offensive series more and more because a couple of times on that series, uh, the receivers did slip down. First and 10 Lake Village from their own 26 yard line. High formation now, they'll hand it off to the fullback. He's got big yardage close to a first down. He may have it as he gets across the 35 to the 36 yard line. There was a huge hole there. And it is enough, I do believe, for a first down. They may want to measure it. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. 6.55 left here in the first period. 7 nothing Scrappers, you're listening to Scrapper Football. was Chingalani on the carry there, the fullback, and they're in the similar set right now, wide receiver, and they'll hand it off to him again. Scrapper's really popped him, but he'll gain a couple to about the 39-yard uh, line. We'll give him uh, three yards on the carry. It'll be second down, long seven. Short eight from the 39. That is the Lake Village 39. Ball still just inside the left, almost in the middle of the field. High formation once again for Lake Village. Hand off again, the fullback. And this time he get, picks up another couple of yards as he gets across the 40. I'll tell you what, they're giving pretty good spots. They're gonna give him about three, so it's gonna bring up second down and five now for Lake Village. So the scrapper defense trying to bow up. Need a little emotion going on out there. You know, we need somebody to really get into it. And uh, you, we've talk, been talking about that a little bit. Big third down and five. Scrapper defense needs to step up. This is how you win championships. I formation again. This time they want to hand it to the fullback. They do, and he's going to get the first down, and he's gone. 
and he's across midfield, across the 45. First down, Lake Village at about the 44-yard line of the Scrappers. Well, they're seeing something that they want to do there, a 14-yard pickup for Chingalani, that uh, particular carry, and they're seeing something that they can do, or else they're going to come back with uh, well, more I, here in just a minute. We'll have to watch for yeah, that. Yeah, they're trying to establish something, and, uh, and right now they're doing it. Big first down. Ball is on the right hash mark for Lake Village at the Scrapper 44. Scrapper's leading 7-0. Slot to the left side. Again, it's an eye formation. This goes Moore. Hit the backfield by Mullins. And thrown for a loss. Let's see where they mark him. He's going to be marked back outside the 45. Should be around the uh, 44. And it is. About a two-yard loss. Good job by Hollis Mullins. Well, just as we were talking about sooner or later, they've got to hand the ball off to Moore. Mullins uh, playing heads up, just playing the odds there and saying, well, this may be it. And made a charge for Moore and caused the loss of about two. Mullins says, don't come my way. Second and 12 now. Again, the eye formation. It's time he wants to throw it. Throws it out. It's going to be incomplete. Good. Oh, they're going to throw a flag on Benson. Rick, that was a very good play by Chris Benson. Oh, I don't know how they call that. I mean, that was a great play by Chris Benson. I don't know how they called it, but they did. He reached over, tapped it away. They're going to call pass interference against Chris Benson. Oh, my. Rick, is this going to be one of those games where everybody counts how many oh mys I say? I'm not going there's to keep the a first, stat. I'm not going first. to keep a stat on it, I can tell you, because I haven't got time. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, hang in there, partner. You did a good job right there. You just keep playing that way. You'll get those calls. First down at the Scrapper 31. Ball on the right hash mark. I formation. Wide receiver to the left, split in to the right. And they hand off to the fullback, and he'll get it across the 30 to about the 29. And we'll see that uh, Chingalani, and uh, we're going to give him two, second down and eight. And they may want to just keep trying to pound it right up the middle. Scrapper defensive line needs to beat him off the line of scrimmage. Uh, they let that uh, offensive line beat him off the line of scrimmage. They're going to get at least a yard or two. And here we go, again, the eye formation. Scrappers jump. They don't jump off sides, however. Hand it off to Moore, and he's going to be hit as he gets across the line of scrimmage. Give him a couple to about the 30, or excuse me, 25. They're going to mark him the 26, I believe. We'll give him three. It'll be third and five now. Well, Rick, they're definitely in four-down territory here. You know that. We say that every week. When a, a team gets down there, they're actually outside of field goal range at the moment. And uh, if they were not to make the first down, and if you don't make the uh, first down on fourth, well, then you would have, uh, you'd not give up great field position. I formation now. Slot to the left side. Hand off to, no, they want to carry it. That's going to be the quarterback, and he's not going to make the first down, but he's going to be fairly close as he gets across the 25 to about the 23. It's going to be fourth and about two. Mullins out there on the stop for the Scrappers along with several other Scrappers, fourth and about two. Well, big play right here. Scrapper D needs to stand up. The Scrapper offense has done their job. It's time for the defense to do theirs. Fourth and two. Here we go from the Scrapper 23, ball on the right hash mark. They go back to the I formation. Douglas, the quarterback up under center. Now there's a flag. Timeout by Lake Village. Well, there was a flag thrown. I don't know what the flag was. May have been the 25 second play clock. I'm okay, I believe, you're, get it run I believe you're right. And they must have gotten the timeout before the clock ran out. Timeout on the field, 2.42 left in the first. Scrappers leading 7 0. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. We 
just got a score from McGee. Three minutes left in the first period. Uh, McGee leading Fordyce 15 to seven. So that's, uh, if the Scrappers were to win tonight, we would play the winner of that game. And of course, if Fordyce were to win, we'd play right here at home. If McGee wins, we would be traveling. But the first thing we got to do is take care of business right here at Scrapper Stadium tonight. Big fourth and two from the Scrapper 23 for Lake Village. Trying to get the Scrappers to jump. Hand off to Moore. He may have the first down. No! What a defensive play by Hollis Mullins. Yes, sir. Hollis Mullins stood up. There's a little emotion. That's the way you do it. Hollis Mullins, a Scrapper senior, leading the way on defense for the Scrappers. Two Moore, big plays, Rick. Moore was trying series. to make that cut to come up with the yardage that he needed to come up with the first down, and Mullins just came up and did a, a driving tackle to kind of drove him back and really denied him that first down yardage. All right, Scrappers with a first down from their own 22-yard line. Held him a yard short of the first down. Split back, slot right. Handoff, that's gonna be Witherspoon. He's got a hole 30. He's at the 35, still on his feet to about the 39 yard line. And we're hearing some uh, <laughs> noise in the crowd. I can't tell whether they're saying spoon or if they're <laughs> having, if there's a boo out there, Rick. Which is it? Well, it's it's something uh, they're yelling for Robert Witherspoon. I think oh, it they're, is. They're really encouraging him on there. Good yardage picked up that time as uh, spotted at the 39, 17 yards on the carry. All right, slot right once again, still with the ball on the left hash mark. First and 10, Scrappers. Young wants to throw, got time. He's gonna throw it out, complete. That's going to be to Hawthorne at the 49 and he wasn't down and he gained a little more. Not giving him a great spot, Rick. He wasn't down, he, he took the ball at the 49 uh, and they thought he was down, but he wasn't. Player underneath him makes a little hop and got the ball to about the 47, but they're gonna mark him at the 40, uh, excuse me, gonna mark him just inside the 48. He actually picked up maybe another yard. But anyway, it's a first down scrappers at the 48 yard line of the Beavers. Ball on the right hash mark, slot to the left side. Handoff, McFadden, got a hole. He's up the 40, makes a cut to the outside, 35. Still on his feet, almost to the 30 yard line. I thought I saw a flag go in. I think it's gonna be a hold against the scrappers. I believe that's what it's gonna be at the end of the play. And we've got a Lake Village player down on the field. And I can't tell exactly which player it is. Can you, Rick? That's going to be Jackson. He's going to get up and uh, get off the field. Good run by McFadden. We haven't seen that kind of getting out around the end there for a good while from him, and it's, it's certainly good. I think he's still been bothered quite a bit by the ankle injury that he's had, but that time he looked real good. All right, McFadden picked up what, Rick? All the way to the... He uh, was all the way down to the 30. 31 yard line, so he picked up what? Uh, figure that out. About 17, 16, all right. 17 yards. Give him 17 yards and then walk off a penalty of 10, so it's still first down, but first down and about nearly four yards to go back at just outside the 40. Ball on the left hash mark, slot right for the Scrappers. Handoff, that's gonna be uh, McFadden on the carry, close to the first down, I believe he's got it. Mark him, uh, they're gonna mark him right on the 35 yard line. So it'll be a first down for the Scrappers at the Lake Village 35. Minute 24 left here in the first period, Scrappers leading seven to nothing. Ball is just inside the left hash mark. Scott to the left, Hawthorne to the right. That's the wide side of the field. The backs are split once again. Young up under center. This time he wants to throw. Quick hitch out to Hawthorne. Makes a cut at the 30, gets loose, 25-20. He could go 15, ran out of bounds at the last minute by Stewart. They're gonna run him out at the 13 yard line. That's a lot of speed and quickness. Once Hawthorne uh, got the ball, he saw a defender coming up and he said, well, if I can get to the outside and race down that sideline, I can pick up some good yardage. And that's exactly what he did. Great move by Hawthorne after the catch, Rick, as you said. It'll be first down at the Beaver 13 yard line. One minute exactly left here in the first period. Slot to the wide left side of the field. Young hands it off. That's gonna be Witherspoon. Lost the handle for a moment. He's gonna be thrown back as he gets to about the 10 yard line. That ball kind of on his hip that looked like there for a moment, Rick. So it'll be second down and about eight yards to go now for the Scrappers. 
And this is what, the seventh play coming up in this seventh drive. Seventh play coming up in this drive. Scrappers took over on their own 22-yard line. They're going to mark him at the 11. Ball is just inside the right hash mark. Again, slot to the left side. Backs are split once again. 27 seconds and counting. Young wants to throw. He's going to throw the screen out to Hawthorne. Or excuse me, to Scott. Makes a cut. Five. Touchdown to the Willie Scott. 11-yard touchdown pass from Blake Young to Willie Scott. Boy, there was some traffic over there, Rick, for a moment. That's where Scott takes the ball out, and he's cutting across the middle and uh, didn't get to complete it across the middle. He had to just cut up field and get to the end zone. It comes with 18 seconds left in the first period. And Stoney Ray in to attempt the point after Martin to hold. Well, there's two touchdown passes on the night for uh, Blake Young. I believe he had five last week. Awaiting the snap from Nate Steele. There it is. It's a good one. Kick is up. Looks good. It is. Scrappers now lead 14 to nothing over the Lake Village Beavers. We'll be back in just a moment. play 78 yards it took two minutes and 19 seconds and the scrappers score on an 11 yard pass from Blake Young to Willie Scott extra point Stoney Ray was good 14 to nothing scrappers well we were just talking that prescription by Sam Floyd two touchdowns per quarter and he's over here just laughing right behind <laughs> us folks it's a belly laugh too big old look at him a big old belly laugh back there hope he doesn't spill his spittoon over there <laughs> Here we go, Stoney Ray with the ball on the tee, kicking south to north. And there it is, a high, short kick. It will hit and be bobbled around. Scrappers have a chance. Let's see if he got it, I'm not sure. Scrappers had a chance for a moment. It was bobbled by Jingalani. But on this wet field, there was no way that ball bounced, so once it hit, it hit right at his feet. He was going to look for a bouncer or lean over and pick it up, Charles, and it's kind of difficult out there on the wet field. And he'll recover it at the 32, the Lake Village 32. That's where they'll take over with their best, uh, best field position of the evening. First uh, time they had the ball at their own 29, last time at the 26, and this time at the 32. Scrappers 38, 49, and 22. So Scrappers leading 14 to nothing, 15 seconds left in the first period. I formation. It'll be the toss sweep. That's going to be another back. That is going to be Rogers. I've Mario Rogers, and he gets a first down as he crosses the 40 all the way to the 46 yard line. Well, as Rogers took the uh, pitch uh, from the quarterback, he kind of was uh, really back looking for what he could pick up as far as the hole, and then he finally cut to the outside. Showed a good burst of speed there as he picked up that first down. I've heard this kid is faster than uh, the other one. 14 yard pickup for Rogers and uh, first down as that's gonna bring a close to the first quarter. Into the first period, Scrappers leading 14 to nothing over the Lake Village Beavers. We'll be back with the second period in a moment. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. Rogers looked pretty fast, Rick, on that play. 5'6", 137 pounds. He's a junior, and he can motor. You can tell that. He's hard to get a hold of. Picks up a lot more, uh, probably a little more speed, as you probably mentioning just a moment ago. He's not going to run over you. I don't think he's going to try to run around you. you. They both have four or five speed in the 40, but uh, this young man, he just saw a crease, and he hit it, and he looked like uh, he didn't hesitate at all. And they do change him out. It's not unusual for him to be in the ball game. Eye formation again, and Rogers is the deep in the eye. I slot to the left side. He slips, he gets the ball, and he's gonna be tackled in the backfield. He slipped, and then a host of scrappers came in. It looks like uh, Miles McCullough, Mullins, 
uh, Graham back there and several other scrappers. I thought I saw Paul Wayne Ray back there. He's going to have a loss on the play of about three. We're going to bring up second down and 13. Right around the 40-yard uh, lines or so, Charles, and right in the middle of the field, that's where the ball is being placed. That's where he was lined up a moment ago, dotting that eye and uh, coming up in that tailback position. It's just very slippery. Slot on the right side again. He wants to throw. A little bit of pressure. Paul Wayne Ray. Oh, man. There was a fumble. I think the scrappers got it. Yes! Paul Wayne Ray just caved in on Douglas. I mean, hit him from the bind side. Never had a chance and knocked the ball loose. And the scrappers recover. It may have been Mullins on the recovery. I'm not sure. Uh, nobody else could tell. Big pile up over there. But the Scrappers with another turnover. This time it's at the 32 yard line of the Lake Village Beavers. And the ball just inside the left hash mark. Split backs again. Slot to the right side. Young wants to throw. Got a man. It toward the end zone, touchdown, no, he dropped it. Oh, Hawthorne had it right in his hands. He didn't hold on. That won't happen very many times, Rick. He beat Stewart, had it right in his hands in the end zone. It went right through him. Oh, I had that one called all the way. He was there, the ball was there, just went right through his fingers. Oh, my. Just that quick, we could have had one of those touchdowns here in the second period that we need. It'll be second and 10 now from the 32 yard line of Lake Village, slot to the right side. The backs are split once again. And now we're gonna have a penalty. Looks like it's against the Scrappers. Dead ball, illegal procedure. <clears throat> well, it's gonna be one of those nights where the ball, where the flag is gonna be against the Scrappers again, I guess. <clears throat> I think we lost a half a yard on that too, Rick. Looks like we got about a five and a half yard penalty then. Can you put that down over there? Well, that just gives us more room to work again. I said that earlier, didn't I? Jack Barton checked in and also uh, Roland checked in on offense. Okay. And the lone setback now is going to be Willie Scott. He'll go in motion to his right. No setbacks now. Young, gonna throw it out. Quick toss, that's out to Willie Scott. And he's gonna be hit as he gets across the 35, but Rick, they're gonna mark him back on the other side of the 35. He got forward progress to the 34. Scrappers are not getting the favorable mark. They're gonna mark him back at the 36 yard line. But trust me, he got all the way to the 34 when he was hit. You'll see that on the replay. So about a uh, four yard gain, a three yard loss by the officials. <laughs> It'll be third, nevertheless, and 13. Lone set back now is Witherspoon. Slot to the left side with the ball right in the middle of the field. Young wants to throw. Turns, looks, got pressure. He may run it. He will. He'll try to get outside. He's going to be tackled as he gets across the 35. Now you won't see him run that many times, but he had an awfully lot of pressure. They're going to mark him the 33, where it'll be fourth down now and about 11 yards to go for the Scrappers. <clears throat> Boy, penalties make a big difference. You just never know how a penalty can affect you. And uh, instead of, uh, say, uh, third or fourth down and, and about uh, two or three yards, it's gonna be fourth down and 11. And the Scrappers are going for it. From the 33, that's the Lake Village 33. Slot to the left side, two tight ends. Lone setback is Witherspoon. Young, straight drop wants to throw, throws it out to Scott. He's got a first down at the 20, cuts 15. Inside the 15, well, where do we get the mark? I think they're gonna mark him about the 15 yard line. That time, Willie Scott did not slip. They give him a pretty good cushion that time, and the Scrappers are here still in business. 18 yard pickup for Scott. He now has uh, three receptions for 32 yards. And also in the evening, uh, Sharon Hawthorne, four receptions for 66 yards. And they'll mark it right dead on the 15 yard line. So it's first and 10 scrappers from the Beaver 15. Scrappers leading 14 to nothing. Lone setback is uh, McFadden with a spoon as a wing on that left side. And Hawthorne split out. Uh oh, the ball's on the ground. McFadden will pick it up, but he'll be sacked. 
They're going to call him down back at about the 23-yard line. And I, I don't know if that was uh, a toss or just taking your eye off the ball. I think it was more of uh, just just not good execution, really, between the two of them, I think. That was a toss sweep with McFadden, and it just uh, scrappers lose about nine yards on that play. I'll just call it eight yards on the play. We'll call it second and 18 back at the 23-yard line. All right, here we go. Slot right. Andrew Westfall split out also. Pressure. It's going to be a screen pass that doesn't work, and it'll be third down now. And I don't know who they were trying to hit on the screen. Whoever it was got caught up in the middle, and nobody was out there. He just had to throw it. Defensive pressure came on as it, it kind of held back for a little bit, and then all of a sudden kind of a, a late charge and a late uh, blitz by one of the defenders, and Young had to hurry up and do something with that football. Well, scrappers need to get something here. They need to pick up some positive yardage. Come up facing a lot of third downs here in this first half so far. Third down and about 18 yards to go from the 23. Now I think the Scrappers want to talk it over. Yes, they do. 8.20 left in the first period. Scrappers leading 14 to nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. Fourteen to nothing here in the second period. Eight twenty left, and the Scrappers uh, had a first down at the fifteen, and uh, have lost yardage. And now it is third down and eighteen, back at the twenty-three. So let's see if we can find us a receiver open somewhere. Scrappers uh, kind of shooting herself in the foot on this drive, at least a little bit, and still moving the ball. So here we go, ball right in the middle of the field, slot to the left side, lone back is uh, Witherspoon. We're having a little problem with something. I think it may be uh, an equipment problem with one of the Beavers. <laughs> All right, now we're ready. They get the chin strap all fixed up. So here we go. Third and 18 scrappers from the 23 yard line of Lake Village. Blake Young drops. Wants to throw it out to Westfall again. He's at the 20. He's going to be tackled at about the 15-yard line. He's going to be, we're going to call it the 16-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, the Scrappers got a little bit of it back. That's the play they scored on a moment ago. Except it was on the uh, other side of the field. The last time it was on the Scrapper right offensive side. This time it was on the Scrapper left uh, offensive side. McFadden checks back in. Fourth and 11 Scrappers. Got to get uh, to the five to pick up the first down. In fact, I might have to get just slightly past the five. Slot to the right side. Witherspoon and McFadden, your setbacks. Fourth and 11. Young has time, throw to the end zone, it's complete. It's gonna be a touchdown to Willie Scott. Oh. Scott made sure that he Quite got inside the uh, first down yard marker. He caught it inside the five and made a good turn and going in for the score. That comes with seven minutes and 27 seconds left in the second period. Eight plays to go 32 yards. 16 yard pass play from Blake Young to Willie Scott. And Stoney Ray in to attempt the point after. Martin to hold, steal to snap. And we're waiting, and there's the snap. The placement's down, the kick is up. I think we're going to have offsides, I believe, against the Lake Village. I think. Unless somebody in the offensive line moved. I believe it's offsides, yes, against Lake Village. <clears throat> the kick was blocked but it was because they were offsides. Strappers have scored on three out of the four possessions they've had so far in the first half. And they keep coming up with those couple of scores that they need in uh, each quarter. At least here's the first one for this one. Maybe they'll have a chance to come up with another one. All right, here we go. Tying it again. Snap, placement, kick up, good, I believe, yes. 
Scrappers lead 21 to nothing. With seven minutes and 27 seconds left in the second period, we'll be back with Scrapper football in a moment. But first, these messages. Uh, go 32 yards in eight plays and Rick it took three minutes and 49 seconds to do that but nevertheless the scrappers score 16 yard pass play from Blake Young to Willie Scott PAT by Stoney Ray 21 nothing scrappers so Stoney Ray will be kicking off north to south to Lake Village and he'll get a toe in it and it is a high, it will be taken at the 15 by Mario Rogers. Boy, there was a block by somebody. We're gonna have a face mask against the Scrappers at the 25. Somebody came in and I'll tell you what, Andrew Westfall got popped. There's either a hole down there, but I thought I saw a face mask. Clipping, oh, well, we'll take that. I thought I saw somebody drag the hand across the, the uh, face guard that time, but Hey, how about that penalty against uh, Lake Village? And let's see, they're gonna mark it off, it looks like, from about the 27. And let's see what the officials do. Yeah, they're gonna mark it off. Clipping is the call. And they're gonna mark it all the way back to the 12 yard line. Folks, major penalty for Lake Village. Oh, see some of those mistakes uh, coming into play here, Charles. They've had uh, a fumble, and uh, here's a big uh, mistake as far as a big penalty. You bet it is. And deep in the eye now back is Johnny Moore once again, number 20, slot to the left side. And they want to throw a quick hitter out there. It's complete for a first down, and a good job that time by the quarterback, Douglas, and he found Stewart, Aaron Stewart, for a first down. Looks like the tackle was made by Benson. But it's nevertheless, it's a first down. Very good play that time. Quick uh, little slant by Lake Village, and they pick up a quick first down. Uh, they're not afraid to throw that ball, are they? No, reared up when they needed it, or at least uh, kind of caught it off guard here. They were all the way back to their 12-yard line and came up with a big first down play. All right. Ball right in the middle of the field. First down from the 23-yard line. I formation again, fullback on the play, and he did get stuffed. I saw Gary Graham's number in there, but there are about 10 more scrappers rolling in there. Looks like uh, coming up off the bottom of that file is McCullough, and on the very bottom of the pile is Beal. So we're gonna give him a yard, second and nine. Well, that play worked for him a couple of times earlier uh, in the first period. Scrappers uh, may be trying to step it up a little on defense now, trying to shut them down if they can, leading 21 to nothing. I formation, receivers to each side now. Douglas wants to hand off more, nothing. Maybe a yard, not much more than that, if any. Looks like, again, Graham down there on the bottom, Shelton Jefferson down there also. We'll give him one. It'll be third and eight now. <clears throat> just shy of the 25. Now the official picks it up and moves it forward to the 25. <laughs> What's that guy's name out there doing that, Rick? Let's make a celebrity out of him. Here we go, I formation. Big third and eight now. Scrapper D needs to stand up right here. Wants to throw, it's the end of the round. He got, he's not gonna get loose. I'm gonna tell you, Scrapper smell that out. They tried a little misdirection, McCullough was there but it looks like Paul Wayne Ray also tripped him up and a couple of other scrappers were in there. But they tried it with uh, Aaron Stewart and it goes for a loss of uh, about a yard on the play for Stewart. So it'll be fourth and nine. And with 5.05 left here in the first half, scrappers with a 21-0 lead are gonna get the ball back again. 
and they'll punt it away. It is a wobbly kick. It'll hit and roll. Scrappers had a chance to pick it up. They're going to let it go, however. It'll still be great field position at the Scrapper 46-yard line. 30-yard punts uh, for the Lake Village Beavers. No return. Scrappers taking over on their own 46-yard line. Well, are we going to get that prescription right? Uh, where's that pharmacist at? <laughs> He's standing right behind me, folks, making sure that we uh, get these prescriptions right. We need one more. 21 nothing Scrappers, 450 left here in the first half. Ball on the left hash mark. Hawthorne and Scott will check to the right side. That's the wide side of the field. Lone setback is Witherspoon. Young up under center. Wants to throw. Straight drop. Looks. Throws it to Westfall at the 50, 45. Makes a cut at the 40. Still on his feet. Inside the 35. And they'll tackle him all the way to about the 32-yard line. Oh, he just hopped over a defender, Rick. Put some good moves oh, in man. there on that. Oh, Papa is smiling. I can see it all the way up here. <laughs> Look down there in the stands, Rick. I'll guarantee you, Robbie, He's having to hold it back. He doesn't want anybody to see how big his grin is right now. So here we go. First down, Scrappers at the 32-yard line. Ball on the left hash mark. Slot right. Split backs now for the Scrappers. Handoff. That's uh, McFadden on his feet as he gets across the 30. They'll mark him at about, uh, well, they're going to mark him just slightly across the 30. Depends on which foot the official is going to use. Looks like we may have an injured player out there for Lake Village. We do. I think he's got a, a cramp. Rick, I saw something on TV I've never heard before, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass this on to you. I was watching the Miami-Pittsburgh game the other night, and they were having trouble with cramps. I guess Miami has down there in that heat all year long. And you know what they take uh, for a quick fix on that? You know, normally you get an IV or something like that. You know what they take? You'll never believe it. Alka-Seltzer. They give them Alka-Seltzer and eight ounces of water. Now, I'm not kidding you. I'm, 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 I heard I'm, this on, the, on TV. I may need a pharmacist to come them, on they in give here. Them, okay. They give them uh, Alka-Seltzer and eight ounces of water, and they say it works. They say they don't know why, but it does. They've been doing it for years down there. So anyway, I thought I'd pass <laughs> that on. It was just a, another prescription I'm adding in there, and I'm not even a pharmacist. Second down and about eight scrappers just inside the 30-yard line. Slot right, lone setback. That's Witherspoon. They want to throw it. Oh, he's going to be knocked down, almost intercepted. And there should be a penalty, and there's a, a late hit by one of the uh, Lake Village players. A flag came in late, and I'm not sure what it's going to be. They knocked Hawthorne down, Rick. Pass interference. They finally, they did call it. Boy, it took a long time for that official to get that uh, flag out of his pocket. I'll tell you what, number 15, Enos Hamilton, gave a little shot. I believe that was on Hawthorne back there in the backfield way after the play. If the official would have seen it, he might have got caught for uh, a penalty himself. It'll be a first down for the Scrappers after they walk off of 15 yards all the way to the 15-yard line of Lake Village. Three minutes and 55 seconds now left in the first half of play. And as I said, Scrappers leading 21 to nothing. There is a timeout for a moment. So you heard the score and the time. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. First down at the Lake Village 15-yard line. Ball just inside the left hash mark. Scrappers leading 21 to nothing. Scott to the near left side. Hawthorne wide to the right side. Lone setback now is Witherspoon. Young up under center. Hands off. Witherspoon puts his head down five yards as Witherspoon gets to the 10-yard line. I mean, just a blast right up the middle. To the 10, good hard running by Robert Witherspoon. And it'll bring up second down in five now. 
It'll be a long five, but nevertheless, a five-yard run by Witherspoon. You mentioned uh, Blast describing the play, but also, you know, it has to be a blast for Witherspoon. Pick up yardage like that. They work hard in the backfield, blocking, protecting the quarterback, and they like to pick up that yardage run in the ball. Split back, slot right, ball on the left hash mark. Young up under center. Second down play, handoff. That's going to be McFadden. Got a little room. He's at the five, close to the first down. And Johnny Moore came up and made the tackle on Mac, or excuse me, uh, yeah, McFadden. And let's see, I believe it's enough for a first down, but I think they're going to weigh the official mark. It's going to be just a little shy. They're going to want to look at it, however. Again, we'll take a timeout with 3.06 left in the first half. 21-0 Scrappers. You're again listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. going to be short by about six inches. That's what David Earl said it would be, and that's what it was. And I kind of figured that out when the official goes up there. It depends on whether he marks it with his right foot or his left foot. And since the scrappers are moving uh, north to south, and that official is on the left side of the field, if he marks it with the left foot, we get a more favorable spot. Third down coming up. It's the sixth play on this uh, drive by the scrappers. Slot right. Third down, inches at the five-yard line. And let's see, Scrapper's looking it over. They may throw one in the end zone. Let's see what happens. Nope, hands off. That's going to be Witherspoon. He's going to have the first down, but not by very much. Johnny Moore again came up and made the tackle, along with uh, number 14, uh, Gordon Brown. I think we have a flag, however, and it's probably going to be a major against the Scrappers. Probably going to have a hold here. And they are talking it over with Lake Village. You know if it's a penalty, they're going to take it. Personal foul scrappers. That's a biggie. That is 50. Now, why would you do that, folks? Coach Laird wants to know what the play, what the problem was. <clears throat> Personal foul, that is 15 yards. That is six penalties for 55 yards against the Scrappers. Instead of third and in inches, Rick, it is third or fourth down. Well, they, they call that after the play. Oh, what a penalty, Rick. That's after, that was a... Uh, what was it after? Did it you was pick a, up yeah, the first down? No. No, they called it after the... Now, whoa, 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 whoa. If he made the first down, he you're right. Gotten it. He, he should have gotten, gotten the first, first down. down. Uh-oh, somebody's not on the ball here. He, 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 like he, he had, had the first down. Here we go. Young's got to make it here. He's got to make something happen. Throws it across the middle, and it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, Scott had it in his hands. It would have been a first down. Rick, I, I think you're right. I think it should have been a first down if the penalty was after the play because Witherspoon had the first down. Well, well, well. But it's going to go over on down. Scrappers had a chance to score right there. Boy, the Lake Village Beavers dodge a bullet. <laughs> well, we're going to have to find out what, uh, what really happened right there. We lost the down. And normally you're going to get that play again if it's uh, before the play is over. But evidently the play was over. And he had the first down. Not by much, but he had the first down. But evidently they're saying he may not have had the first down. That's all it can be. There's the pass. Intercepted by Travell Green. He's trying to go all the way. He's going to make it. Touchdown, Scrappers. Travell Green on the interception. That is a 25-yard interception and return. Penalty in the end zone. It's going to be for celebration, I'm sure. Travell Green, INT with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Scrappers, and it's gonna be because of celebration. Coach Laird's getting mad out there, doing a little coaching on the sidelines. Well, there's those uh, two touchdowns per quarter. 
But the scrappers are going to have uh, a much larger job of uh, making the extra point. This is going to be a 35-yard extra point attempt. Well, he can do it. He was doing it early uh, in practice a moment ago before the game started. So uh, let's see what Stoney does here. He's done it before, waiting the snap. There's the snap. The placement's down. He'll get it away, and this is not going to make it. Doesn't get it there. The score will hold 27 to nothing. Scrappers, two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. of events flag coming a little late right there folks we got roughing the kicker so stony ray's gonna get tried again and now wait a minute the officials having trouble here personal foul roughing the kicker but it's a half the distance to the gold penalty i guess huh okay i guess we'll have to buy that so it's a placement's going to be from the 15 now He'll get it away. Looks good from here. It is. Stoney Ray nailed that one. It would have been good from 35. He got his toe in that one. Scrappers lead 28 to nothing. There is no flags on the field this time. So we'll be back with Scrapper football in a moment. fun tonight folks 28 to nothing scrappers leading over the lake village beavers uh, the upset victors last week over lone oak lone oak the number one seed out of their conference over there and lake village the four seed out of uh, eight triple a but the scrappers leading 28 to nothing 220 left in the first half and stony ray has the ball on the tee he's got it right in the middle of the field this time and we're just about ready. Here's the approach, Scrappers offsides. And they were gonna have to back up five and do it again. Well, we're having a, a little problem here. We're having some hesitation out there and then trying to take off and a little bit of out of sync for some odd reason on our kickoffs. Hadn't done that all year, but tonight we are. <clears throat> well, they'll get that straightened out. So walk off five against the Scrappers now. That's about, what, seven penalties or eight or what? Seven, seven for 60? No, that's seven for what? Is that right, 70? 70 for, eight for 75, you're right. Okay. Eight for 75. All right, Scrappers, let's look at the first down situation here, right? We got a second. So Scrappers now have 11 first downs and Lake Village has five first downs. So here's Tony Ray with the approach from the 35. He'll get a toe in it. It'll hit and bounce. Ball's in the air. Fumbled around by Mario Rogers. Scrappers, rash fall misses him there, but holds him up. And he's still on his feet. Now he's going to be finally tackled inside the 25 at about the 23-yard 23, 23 line. Anthony Jones, along with uh, Chris Benson. But I'll tell you what, Rick, I thought that ball <laughs> did a good job just getting his hands on it. Took a big bounce right over the shoulders as uh, Rogers tried to field it. Didn't think that ball would bounce that well out there on that soft field, but it did. Rogers did a good job recovering, try to get out around this side to pick up a little bit of yardage. He's kind of a jitterbug player. He's really, he's really quick. And Johnny Moore deep in the eye for Lake Village. They have a stack eye now. That's three backs there. They'll hand it to Moore up the middle and he'll get a little bit, not a whole lot. He'll gain it across the 25. We'll give him about uh, three yards on the play. It'll bring up second down and seven. Clock continues to run. 
1.58 left here in the first half. Scrappers leading 21, or 28 to nothing. Host of Scrappers in there on the play. And ball still just inside the right hash mark. And again, they'll go with the stack eye and they'll break that now and put Jackson on the wing on the left side. Douglas up under center. Hand off to Moore. He'll try to get outside. Ball's on the ground. It's, I believe, rolling or, no, that's not rolling. That's going to be, uh, I think, Beal. Beal came up with it, jerked it out of his hands. And Beal did it all. Jerked it out of his hands and recovered it back at the 25. Certainly what we're seeing tonight, we're seeing the turnovers really hurting Lake Village. Scrappers stepping it up, taking a 28 to nothing first half lead so far. They've got a minute 29 to go now with the ball at the Lake Village 24 yard line. We're gonna call it the 24, ball just a little shy of that. Ball just almost in the middle of the field, slot to the left side, split backs for the Scrappers, Young up under center. 129 left in the half. Young wants to throw, got plenty of time. Throws it, fly pattern to Westfall. Just overthrew him a little bit, had him at the goal line. Had his man beat, just couldn't quite come up with it. I was trying to help him. I was trying to reach on out there and bring well, the ball I was, in. I was, just... I was going like this, straining, <laughs> but I just couldn't quite make the catch. They right? may not know out there how much we're trying to help them. I'm up here straining and uh, hitting somebody, hitting David behind me. and Such a beautiful play. I mean, it was, oh, uh, it was like all you wanted for it was to go ahead and be complete. All right, second and ten scrappers. 124 now left in the half. Trips to the left side. And Witherspoon, you lone setback. Young wants to throw again. Hits it out. That little quick hitch out. That's going to be Willie Scott. Tries to make a cut. And he's hemmed in inside. And there's a penalty flag. I think he got a face mask. I think it's going to be against the Lake Village Beavers at the 18-yard line. The clock will stop. That was short of the first down. Had to get inside the 15 to get the first down. They're pointing at Lake Village. So the scrappers are still going to have the ball and they're still going to be in business and it's going to be a first down after we find out what happened. Had to be a face mask. I don't know if it was a flagrant one or a uh, evidently incidental. Face mask, five yarder. So it'll be a first down as they walk it off to the 14 yard line. So it'll be a first down for the scrappers there. 116 now left in the half. The clock starts, split backs. Scott left, Hawthorne right. Young up under center. He'll move uh, Hawthorne in motion. Now we've got a penalty flag. And I think what we had were too many people moving. Illegal procedures, what we're gonna have. We had Hawthorne in motion, and I believe one of the scrapper backs moved. I think that's what he's saying. Now I'm not sure. And Coach Laird says if that's not what it is, He's trying to make a case out there, but it's falling on deaf ears. They're saying it's an illegal formation. I don't know how it was, but they said it was, I guess. I thought it was because we had a couple of people move, but anyway, that stops the clock. Now, now it's running. 55 seconds. Scrapper's still in the huddle. Burning a little time here. First and five or first and 15 rather, back at the 19 yard line, split backs, slot to the left side. Again, Young up under center, wants to throw, got plenty of time, throws it downfield for, that's gonna be a touchdown to Henry, I mean uh, to Hawthorne. Sharon Hawthorne caught it at the five, made a little spin, and it's a touchdown for the Scrappers. Boy, Young had all day, Rick, as he made a straight drop, and then rolled a little bit to his left, but Rick, it was just to get a better look. I'll tell you, the scrappers are having fun. You ought to see them on the sidelines, folks. I mean, there's some happy scrappers out there. 35 seconds now left in the first half of play. That one took 54 seconds. And Stoney Ray in to attempt the point after. And there's the placement. There's another flag. Let's see what we've got this time. Well, the kick was no good. Let's see what we've got. I kind of want to think that there was offsides going to be called against Lake Village. Let's see if it is. <clears throat> well, we're waiting. They're going to walk it off against Lake Village. Ineligible. 
Well, they had too many men on the field. So we had an illegal participation out there, Rick. Had too many folks on the field. Still didn't work. Here we go. Stoney Ray once again. There's a snap placement down, kick up. Looks good. Nailed it. Scrappers now lead 35 to nothing with 35 seconds left in the first half. You're listening to the Scrappers in the playoffs. Scrappers now leading 35 to nothing on an 18-yard pass play from uh, Young to Sharon Hawthorne. There's an onside kick. Actually, it was, a, I think, just a miss, and the Scrappers almost came up with it. I think he missed the ball. It might have been designed, but I don't think so, not the way it came out of there. And the Lake Village will recover the ball at the 41-yard line. That's their own 41-yard line. 35 seconds to go in this half. Uh, Blake Young tonight has four <laughs> touchdown passes. Last week, I believe he had five, so he's having a real good postseason play here in the playoffs. 35 seconds left in the half. No time ran off the clock. Even though Lake Village uh, touched the ball and handled it there, they still got a full 35 seconds left in the first half. Ball just inside the left hash mark. Eye formation. Douglas up under center. Hands off to the fullback. Got a little room there, but not a lot. It closed in a hurry as he picked up a couple of yards. Then the scrappers met him there. Miles McCullough, I see getting up off the bottom of that pile and a host of others. Let's see where they finally give him forward progress. We'll call him the 44. We'll give him three, call it second and seven. Clock running. 12 seconds, 10 seconds now left in the half. Could be the last play unless they throw a pass here. Eye formation, three seconds. Hands off to the fullback. He doesn't get a first down. Not at all, doesn't matter. The clock runs out. Shelton Jefferson there along with, I think that's going to be, let's see, 76, Hollis Mullins had a big first half. Comes up limping just a little. But any of the way, that's the end of the first half. 35 to nothing. Scrappers will be back with halftime right after these messages. 